Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Uncle Matt's Cookery Lessons. I'm going to cook the Chicken Supremes from a recent chicken video and I'm going to make a Diane sauce. Hello there, uh, recently I've made a couple of videos with chicken. I jointed a chicken, prepared the breasts and the legs separately. So today I'm going to finish these beautiful plump breasts off with a classic sauce for steak, a Diane sauce. But I don't see why we can't do it with chicken. We can break some rules every now and again. Anyway, I hope you're gonna really like this one. Okay, so Diane is a pan sauce. Shallots are necessary. Now that one was very slippery. Where'd it go? Come back. Yeah, I know. Oh, I'm getting old. Pick that up again. That was the slipperiest shallot I've ever known. Anyway, once you've successfully removed the skins of your shallots, you can dice them up like this. Slice them that way, not all the way through the root. Turn them 90 degrees and then chop that way. There we go, chop shallots. Give the mushrooms a bit of choppy choppy. Season your chicken skin. Bit of salt at this stage. That skillet is medium, over a medium heat, and it's been on for a couple of minutes, so it's nice and hot already. Skin side down, and those are gonna be for a few minutes at least. Let's get a bit of color going. A little bit of seasoning on the flesh side. Now, how are they looking? Oh yeah, yeah, okay. So, a little bit of butter in there. Let's get some really tasty stuff going in there, some aromatics. So I put some sprig of thyme. Garlic would be great, rosemary, yeah, whatever you fancy really, just get the flavours in there. They're looking good, very promising, I've got my oven already on, but before it goes in I'm just going to give that skin a little bit of baste with that butter because it's good. And those are going in my oven for 15 minutes. They won't be fully cooked, but don't worry, they're going to rest and then they're going back in the sauce, so don't worry about it too much. And these are very large breasts. Uh, gonna basically, I don't know why I'm doing that with a spoon, just pour it over, doesn't matter. Get most of that fat onto the chicken, leave a little bit in your pan so that you can sweat your shallots. A bit of extra butter and seasoning. Soften those shallots for just a minute or so and then we're gonna chuck in the mushrooms. So Diane sauce, I thought it was French, but no. Well done Americans, it's from New York. The Drake Hotel in Manhattan, 1948, a chef by the name of, hang on, Beniamo Chavions. Anyway, his daughter was called Diane, so he credited it to her. That nice, nice guy. Anyway, a bit of Dijon mustard. Cook the Dijon out for a minute or so, and then we're going to add brandy, or Madeira if you like, a spirit of some sort, and we're going to flambe. A very hot pan now. Now, this is dangerous, and... My God, did that catch fire. That flame was huge. That's why I took it off. Because I have a canopy, a hood, an extraction hood over my stove, and it would have melted. So coming back on now, the flames have subsided. Now, if you have a, like my good friend Eugene, if you have a flambe set, you can do that in your living room and really impress your diners. Turn the lights down low, and that's the theater. That's the whole point of flambe, it's the theater. But I'm a boy, and I like setting fire to stuff, so. I enjoyed that. Worcester sauce, or there you go. Worcester is the capital of Worcestershire. Don't worry about the spelling. It's Worcester or Worcestershire. There you go. That was some heavily reduced brown chicken stock, almost like a demi glass. I swilled it out with a little bit of water because you can always add water to sauces. You know, when it evaporates, when it simmers and evaporates, it's only losing water. So water is very, very good to help you with your sauce consistency. And just simmer that away for a minute or two until you think, yeah, yeah, that's looking good. Have a taste, it's yummy, of course it's yummy. Now I've had those chicken breasts covered with a tin foil while they were resting. Get them back in the pan now. We don't need that time. Time's done its job. But I do want the butter and I do want the, the resting juices that came out of it 
you don't have to do that but then if you uh, don't do that then uh, we're gonna fall out because that is gold dust and just reheat these breasts give them a good old baste oh doesn't that look nice you want this don't you I had it a couple of days ago it was lovely so yeah a little bit more basting they're basically ready I'm just dragging this out because I think oh, it just looks really good <laughs> got your spuds ready you got your vegetables ready or salad and let's show you a couple of different ways you might want to plate this up so here's a rudimentary simple way of doing it that looks really nice just pop the chicken breast or you might have done it with a steak on the plate and cover it with sauce and it will look like that yum does that look nice okay so let's do another way we're gonna carve it not too thin never carve your meat too thin it just goes cold and dries out and I thought, okay, so let's make a puddle, a puddle of sauce and sit the chicken supreme upon the puddle. And doesn't that look nice? Anyway, back to me. There we go. Uh, chicken supreme with Diane sauce. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Let's try a bit to confirm. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> It's delicious. Um, I'm content that I I softened the crispy skin that I got earlier. It's kind of just soaked in all that absolute beautiful sauce. The flake, yeah. There's so much flavour. Beautiful. Pan sauce is at their absolutely very best. Thank you very much, and I'll see you soon. Bye.